Hey, what's up? This is Ryan from GMB Fitness. And I'm Mike Fitch from the Animal Flow. We get a lot of questions asking us what's the difference between Animal Flow and GMB's program elements. And really, there's only one main difference. That is, one of the guys that teaches it is really good looking, and the other isn't. We'll leave that up to you to decide. So today we'd like to share with you a little bit about what makes animal flow and elements slightly different and also how they work well with each other. First off, let's talk a little bit about elements. Elements is a seven week program, fully online and each day we present you with the programming for that day where we focus on three major movements, the bear, the monkey, and the frogger. Whereas animal flow is really a practice where we try to teach the person who's either coming to a workshop or is at home watching the DVD how to perform the movements, but then it's not really a structured program in the same way Elements is. Once you learn the components of the animal flow practice, you can really practice them how you want, whenever you want, and essentially for the rest of your life. So there's a little bit of difference between the programs the way that we introduce them. Mm -hmm. However, the similarities as far as the animal locomotion goes, in the animal flow practice, we look at the ABCs of animal travels, and we call those ape, beast, and crab. And I bet there are probably some similarities to the way that we teach them. Quite a bit, I think so. As a matter of fact, I know so. Now, did you create animal movements? Yes, and they're trademarked, and we share that trademark for that. Of course, we're kidding. Animal movements have been created thousands and thousands of years ago, and people were moving around. And we're not trying to say that we created any of these movements. We simply put them together into a program that's going to allow you to get better at whatever you need to get better at, or whatever you're doing in your life. Now to go a little further into that, when we're looking at elements, we use our triple A framework. What we do is we assess where you currently are. Once you do that assessment, we then address some of the issues that you have, looking at strength, flexibility, and or motor control. And we choose one of those areas to focus on, and we go into the application portion of that, which is the actual programming. So, a little bit different, along with the style of animal flow. But they're very similar in the sense that we are using movements that are similar in the program. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So in the animal flow practice, we talk about six components. So yes, the animal locomotion is one component. We always say we mimic animals with the intention of improving the function of the human animal. Mm -hmm. So the animal travels is one component, but then we also have wrist prep, we have something we call activations to really reconnect the system before we start to move. Then we have form specific stretches, which are like full body mobilizations. Then we have our switches and transitions, which eventually make up our flows. That's also very similar to elements in the sense that we have our warm ups, where we also focus on the wrists, taking you through this daily programming, this prep, making sure that you're ready for the movement that you're performing that day. We show very basic transitions of how you can take the bear, the monkey, and the frogger, put them together, and also work towards flows. So if your intention is to learn more about animal flow or elements, we want to tell you exactly how you're going to do that. So with the animal flow practice, we have a couple of different options. If you're at home and you just want to learn some of the animal flow movements, we do have a video that you can purchase, either hard copy DVD or you can stream or download the videos, which will tell you how to do all the movements, but then also give you 20 sample flows that you can follow along with. If you want to take your practice to another level, you can actually come in and take one of our workshops. So we have certification workshops all over the world. If you're not currently a fitness professional and you just want to do it for your own practice, you can certainly come in and take the workshop. Elements is a little bit different in the fact that everything is 100% online. You log in and each day you're presented with your daily workout. In there, we have videos that take you through your warm up the skill work for that day, finishing up with your conditioning as well as the stretches for that. Now again, this is a seven week program. And by the end of the program, you'll be focusing on improving your strength, your flexibility, and your motor control. Once again, this is 100% online. Now we just discussed a little bit about how animal flow and elements are different. But let's take a look at how they complement each other. Mm, great idea. So. One of the ways that we always talk about elements is it's a great starting point if someone's really wanting to get into 
some movement practice, mm -hmm. right? So it's a great way for someone to kind of make the introduction or, or introduce themselves to movement practice. And if someone is just getting into movement and they want to find a program that really helps them connect to their system and really learn how they move through space, this is a great way to do that, which is a really nice and easy, seamless transition mm -hmm. into animal flow. So you could start with elements first. Sure. You could also start with animal flow Absolutely. first and then go to elements. Yeah. Yeah, and, and carry on through there. And so it's a very good point because, again, I keep bring, uh, bringing things back to in elements how we have this AAA framework. Mm -hmm. And we're always looking at that strength component, that flexibility component, and that motor control. And it doesn't matter what level you are. You can always come back and assess where you currently are in your practice. So starting off with animal flow, absolutely possibility. Then working through some of the flows, going back, doing a little bit of elements, and then once again returning to animal flow is only gonna help you to improve further and also further enjoy your practice. So I guess the take home is they 100% complement each other. Absolutely. Elements for us in GMB is our foundation program. This is where we'd like to have everyone start so that they can work towards the other fun things that we have going on in GMB. Comparatively, in animal flow, animal flow can be a standalone program in itself. Is that correct? It certainly can be. And so we usually teach the animal flow practices something that there's an entry level for any level of fitness enthusiast. And once you get into it, you can just get deeper and deeper into the movements. So you can learn the movements, but not truly understand them for a very long time. And so we really do look at that, the animal flow workout, the animal flow program as a practice. So it can completely stand alone as an animal flow practice, almost like you'd practice yoga or something like that. Or you can, it can easily be di dissected and taken apart and integrated into other styles of training. So if you're really into weightlifting, this may help you with some mobility. If you're really already flexible and bendable, then this may help you with some more explosive dynamic movement. So once again, very similar as far as looking at animal type movements. Concepts are also very similar, but the purpose might be slightly different. Thing is, it really depends on where you want to go in your current practice right now. Mike and I recommend each other's programs to everyone out there. There's nothing better in the sense that I'm better looking than Mike. It's again, just a matter of what works for you right now. If you're gonna try one, you'll probably also like the other one. That's right. So whichever one you decide to start with is the right one for you. All right, so we hope this has been beneficial for you and check out the links that we have for you. Be sure to check out Animal Flow and also please check out Elements. <laughs>